over here unlocking my truck, you know, beep beep. Oh look, unlock. This is also the first drive in the 7.3 OBS on the 33s instead of the 35s in 24x14s. Well, we're getting off the highway now, but I was just going to let you know how you can actually basically have your crew set at 70 miles per hour on these 33s. And you may have been able to go 70 miles an hour on the other wheels and tires, but it didn't read 70 miles per hour on the truck. Like I would put it at about what it looked like about 2200 RPM and just kind of set the cruise at whatever speed it said I was going, but it wasn't reading spot on, or maybe it was, and it was just working a lot harder to go slower, which scientifically speaking, probably makes sense because the other wheels and tires are just so much bigger and so much heavier. I don't know, all I'm gonna say is I like the other wheels and tires more in terms of an aesthetic standpoint, but in terms of comfort and absorbing bumps and speed and stuff like that, acceleration, this is way better. Today is the day we put this truck for sale. People are always asking how you can afford to do this kind of stuff on YouTube. I think we can fit more. Okay, so we've almost made it to the location where we're gonna put the truck for sale. Yeah, we're gonna get to doing that. I just stopped at the gas station to grab some drinks because we're gonna sit in the truck, not the truck, my brother's car for about an hour. I'll show you guys what we're gonna do, but I literally pulled into the gas station for like two minutes and I come outside and there's people out here taking pictures of the truck. So hopefully we can get a good reaction and hopefully we can get a good amount of people to stop and take pictures and just be like, what the heck? You know what I mean? It'll be funny. Just stay tuned. Oh yeah, and you're probably gonna start to see my brother in the videos a lot, because uh, he's gonna be like filming with me and all that kind of stuff. Sale? Yeah, it's about to be. So I actually went to the gas station, and when I came out there were people taking pictures of the truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, there was an old guy out there, and then there was a kid out there taking pictures. So let's get some signs on here and get this thing for sale. So what should we put on here? Mom's phone number. Uh, nah, dude, she would kill us, bro. <laughs> or should I just put like, 50,000 for questions and then put my at my Instagram. Yeah, just something funny. I don't want to put my phone number on Okay, and then if somebody actually wants to buy a 50 grand. I, I might mean, actually sell <laughs> Might as well. Cash. Only. It's official. You got that? I did. Get her taped on there. You're gonna have to put it on the other side, you know. <laughs> Literally <laughs> just did it for that one. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Should we like park it in the corner over here? The truck? So you can like see it from the road or should we just like park it in the middle of the parking lot over here? Or should I just like park it up in the middle here? I would just pull it another lane forward. You I can mean, see it from the road in yeah. the next couple of lanes anyway. Yeah, that's true. And now we wait. Yeah, I don't want to be like super close to somebody and then they're looking around like looking for the person that has it for sale just in case they're like in the store because that's really the only reason that truck should ever be parked out here is if it's, if it's there because you're in the store. Look at this dude. Dude is hardcore. He just keeps looking at us. So worried about his mask now. Is that hand sanitizer? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's hand sanitizing his mask. That's freaking hilarious. He's trying to find a faster way to pack merch. I think he pressed that for it. He's like, bro, you need like a real tape gun because we're like using like the rolls and just like trying to tear it. This dude is definitely hardcore looking at that truck. This dude is hardcore looking at this thing. <laughs> This dude is so hard rolling around. He's going around it twice. Even his girlfriend's going crazy. This dude's coming back. He's gonna come back. Look. He just drove right past our car, but I bet he comes back. Look. Look, he's trying to snap a pic. <laughs> How awkward would it be though if they like see you filming them? <laughs> and then they're like, what is going on? Dude, I bet you he's gonna try to wait out there until he sees if like Wilson Diesel comes out. Look. He's, he's, like he's gotta know the truck though. Yeah. Else he wouldn't be taking a picture from that far back. If he oh, actually no. like just yeah. wanted it, he would have got a picture of the for yeah. sale sign or something. Yeah, otherwise people would be like, oh, no problem. We changed position because this King Ranch over here parked right in front of our view. And now we're like freaking sitting ducks out here in the open. <laughs> like just hoping that it's not awkward when people drive around it. He's eyeing that thing so freaking hard. Look, he's gonna get out. He's just gonna sit there and take pics, bro. He's just gonna sit there and wait until somebody comes out. <laughs> I mean, now we can't film it because of- Okay, here's the problem. This guy in a Duramax literally circled the truck and then parked right next to the driver's side door. So his driver's side is facing that driver's side. And then he put the window down. 
<laughs> but he's but us. he's facing us head on. I told him I said it just feels so weird when you're like sitting there like in a car trying to get reactions out of people because you almost feel like this is something a stalker or somebody weird would do. We just want a video, bro. That's all we want. Okay, there's the guy. There's the guy in the Duramax. He's just sitting there right by the truck, waiting with the window down. Right, check this dude out. <laughs> and we're worried about overloading a truck. Okay. But oh, we got another looker. We got another looker. Eyeballing it so hard. Look, they're backing up for double take. They see look, snapping pictures out the window. <laughs> He's definitely stopping to look. Look. <laughs> you can't see, but I can see him in the rear view. Yeah. In his in his mirror, he's just stopping to take a picture. <laughs> he's gonna park right in front of it, or he's gonna turn around to see it again. One or the other. That guy in the Duramax right there is he's still just sitting there with his window down, like just watching the truck, waiting for somebody to come out to see it. Wait, Duramax guy's getting out. He's gonna play hard to get, huh? I think we've got a looker coming around the corner. Maybe. Yep, 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 yep. Look at him staring. Guy in a Camaro. Hardcore staring. He's gonna circle it. He's gonna circle it. Hardcore. Focus, come on. Right there. Look. He's just gonna sit there. Here he goes. Well, we sat here a little over an hour. Got a few hits on it, but uh, kind of slowed down the last 20 minutes. Not really got any more interest in it. No more lookers. So we're probably just gonna wrap it up with the whole truck for sale thing here. must watch whistling diesel i literally put my two different buggies and these kids on these buggies were jumping up and down freaking out when they saw this truck it was the funniest thing and i've driven past a lot of amish buggies and a lot of different trucks in the last several months i ain't never gotten a reaction like that out of a truck we're actually gonna hook up the car hauler to this thing see how she looks at the trailer hooked up this freaking kid over here in this Honda Accord, it'll focus. He's literally driven by three times. <laughs> I just really hope he doesn't stop. I got stuff to do right now. <laughs> He's on the phone and taking pictures and everything. He's gone back and forth multiple times. Got the 20 foot car hauler all hooked up and it really didn't squat the truck anymore. And the reason it didn't really squat the truck anymore, even though it's gonna look like it's a little bit squatted is because the truck's already technically squatted because I'm pretty sure it's factory in the rear and a two inch lift in the front. So it already kind of sits low in the back as it was. And it really didn't like sit lower than it already was. So we've got the trailer hooked up. I'm not gonna tell you why we've got that hooked up, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned and watch tomorrow's video to find out. Man, that thing sure does look good though. But right now I'm gonna show you my other first gen. So this thing needs a major, major wash. And to all the new people stopping in, I wanna quickly explain what this truck is and why I have it. 4,000 bucks and essentially what I decided to do was take this truck and restore it. Now the truck had, the doors were completely like destroyed, damaged in. The bed was destroyed. The front fenders were destroyed. I mean, it was just a complete wreck. So what I decided to do was to buy the truck off him, buy a parts truck, a two-wheel drive that's rust-free, super clean, and then actually restore the truck. That was my goal. So I've got about 13,000 into it right now. I've got the new interior here. I've got a new interior. I got the new paint job done. Everything's ready to go except for a few more parts to actually get the interior put in and the windshield installed. That way we can actually button up the truck and finish it. However, I do have some new ideas after having this truck in person it makes me want to do a bigger lift. Not lifted in the front and not in the back, but a full lift front and rear and a big set of wheels and tires on this thing because this, at the end of the day, is going to be my daily driver. And Reagan and I actually have considered looking for a new house, even without this truck here. Since we do YouTube, we have so many people, since we are in like a main interstate, like stop by taking pictures, rolling real slow, taking pictures of the trucks, the house, all that kind of stuff. If you are one of those people, please do not do that. We would really appreciate it. For those of you who did not see them, here are the new leather seats that are actually going in this first gen. Check this out. Yeah, 
That's freaking sweet. It's gonna be so sick when it's done. And by the way, if you want to enter to win this truck, which is getting dropped off at paint, every one dollar is ten entries to win this truck plus five thousand dollars cash. But the ten X entry deal ends this Saturday, August twenty second. Not only that, but every order between now and August twenty second gets guaranteed ten percent cash back in their order. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was pretty short, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet since we didn't have a lot of extra content for you guys. Stay tuned though, because hopefully tomorrow's the day that we pick up our next little project and start to have an absolute blast with that thing as well. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.